Good morning, seventh graders. Mr. Brown here. Hope everybody's doing well. Uh, it is May 28th, uh, Thursday, May 28th. And I just want to uh, just dive right in and go over the project that you're going to be doing over the next two days. So you're going to be working on this today and tomorrow, the 28th and the 29th, Thursday and Friday. And what it's going to be is a one pager project. Okay, so you did the Google slide based on the I Have a Dream speech, Martin Luther King Jr.'s iconic speech in Washington, D.C. Uh, you've read it, you might have listened to it, you've answered questions on it. So today, what we're going to be doing is creating a one pager um, with that theme in mind, the I Have a Dream uh, speech theme in mind. So you might want to have that handy. And what I have open now is the Google slide that you're going to be working in. Um, I've got page one open here, so let's just go over a little bit. Okay, so one pager project. Okay, today and tomorrow you will be f reflecting on Martin Luther King Jr.'s I Have a Dream speech in order to create a digital one pager project. Okay, so this is going to be done electronically within the Google slide. Um, I'll give you other alternatives in a few minutes um, if you don't want to do the digital, but let's just go over this for now. Uh, the directions for the projects are on the next page, as well as a sample project on page three. You can make it look however you would like, as long as you follow the criteria, meaning the rubric. So let's go over it a little bit. So we've got page two here with the directions. Page three is a sample for you to take the model. Page four is the sort of blank canvas, as it were, that you're going to be working on for your uh, one pager. And the last uh, page, page five here, is the uh, rubric that you can take a look at, make sure that you follow all the criteria, textual analysis, required elements, thoroughness, um, that sort of thing. Let me uh, make that bigger. Okay, so again, textual analysis, required elements, thoroughness, Okay, you want to look at the A level um, in order to get the best grade possible. Uh, let me go back up to the top and let me talk about for a minute um, the magnifier because I know that um, many of you had um, expressed your um, concern that it was difficult to see uh, a Google slide. So uh, if you go up to the magnifier here, the zoom magnifier here, I can make this uh, 50, 100, 200. I can zoom in or out if I want as long as I'm still in the magnifier. I can make it 50%. You can see here with the drop-down menu, there's actually a 60% which they considered like a fit, like a perfect fit. Okay, so there I am at 60%. I'm still in the magnifier. So if I want to go in there and do something with the, um, with the particular page, for instance, edit and so forth, I can go from the magnifier, I can go right back to my cursor. You can see here that I can click on it. I can now highlight, I could change if I wanted, um, I can edit and change, I can add things. Um, of course, this is just the first page. Okay, so that's how we use the magnifier. We magnify, we pull down the menu, go as big as we want, or to, uh, or to fit. Okay, I can go to 100%, and then of course I can navigate my page here, just like that. All right, and that's how you work that. So just make sure that when you're in the magnifier and you want to work on the page, that you then you go back to the cursor. Okay, let's take a look at uh, the instructions page. I'm actually going to make this keep this at 100% so we can uh, read it together. Okay, so a one pager is a way visually to share ideas and information from what you have learned. When you create a one pager, you are trying to use both visual symbols and important words to clearly and concisely share your most important takeaways with someone else. Okay, so the most important takeaways from the I Have a Dream speech. For this one pager, we've provided you with a template. We will look at that in a moment. And here's what it must include. Okay, so here's your criteria. Three main ideas from the speech represented in both words and imagery. So main ideas using words and imagery two significant quotations from the speech that stood out to you. So you want to be able to quote, uh, quote the speech. One or two key symbols from the speech represented in words and or images. Okay, so one or two key symbols. Um, that's imagery as well, but something that is symbolic of the speech. Connections between the speech and current events. So you want to take the speech and you want to somehow um, connect that What's going on today? How can you connect that speech with what's going on today 
for instance, race relations or anything like that. Okay, anything to do with maybe civil rights, people still working on civil rights, etc. So you want to make that connection. Uh, connections between this speech and other work you have read, viewed, listened to, etc. represented in words, images, images, quotations, and or symbols. So, so far we've got um, uh, the, the speech connecting it to current events as they're happening, and then connections between the speech and what you might have read. Franklin Doug, uh, excuse me, uh, Frederick Douglass comes to mind. Uh, you might be able to find a connection there. Maybe something else you've read. Uh, you might be able to find a connection to the speech. And let's, lastly, your answer to the question, has Martin Luther King's dream been fulfilled? Okay, so that's all your criteria there. That's what you'll want to include in your creative one pager. Uh, you may also add other symbols, drawings, and words that represent to show, uh, show as much as you wish. Okay, so as much as you want to express yourself and your ideas. Okay, so that's our criteria. Let's move on to uh, the example here. Now I'm going to go back into the magnifier. I'm going to make this at, I'm going to fit it at 60%. You can see what they did here. Now I just want to make it clear. I'm going to go right back to the cursor. Uh, you can see where this one is made up of text. It's made up of text boxes. Uh, it's made up of more text, uh, some text here. There's an image there. Um, for instance, the people here holding hands is an image that they've added into that. So you can create text and images. You can see here that they created the, um, the connections. Uh, for instance, up here, the civil rights with the Black Lives Matter uh, movement, which is a much more current event than the civil rights, the civil rights being um, a product of the 60s. Black Lives Matter um, is happening um, even as we speak today. Um, connections there, connections here. Uh, we've got um, more text. We've got more images. You can see where they created an image. Uh, you can see where they've created um, images within text, the stars, for example. Um, Dream is all going to be already in your template. I'll show you that in a moment. So essentially, this is just a template, a model that you can look at for ideas and give you an idea of just how you're going to, what your layout might look like, of course, with your own unique design. So page four, this is your sort of blank canvas. You can see here that the dream is already here. You could certainly do things with that. Um, for instance, I could go in and maybe change the border to green. I could then change the fill to, uh, excuse me, the red. I could change the fill to green so that I've got a, uh, a, a green fill, a red border, um, things like that that you can do. And then, of course, you can start creating your images um, within the Google slide. I want to make it clear that if you would rather, if you, if you feel more comfortable doing something on paper, your own design, your own art on paper, and creating it that way, uh, feel free to do that as well, but it will be your responsibility to load it, upload it to, um, here is my, for example, my folder. It'll be your responsibility to upload it into the folder. Okay. All right, that's about it. Just to recap, uh, we've got page one with an introduction as to what you're doing, page two with uh, directions and the criteria for the project. Let me go back to fit. Okay, let me go back to the cursor. Uh, page three is a template, a sort of model that you can look at for ideas. And just to give you an idea of the layout and what you're going to be looking for. Page four is what you're going to be working on. And page five is the rubric for everything that you'll need for the most optimum grade. Okay, I certainly hope this helps. Uh, do reach out to me if you have any other questions. Okay, good luck, guys. Take care.